And now for a quick disclaimer. The T-Bone and Chick Brew Brew in the morning <laughs> show is for infotainment purposes only. The opinions expressed here do not represent Naval Station Rota, the Armed Forces Network, or the Department of Defense. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs> Buenos dias a todos. Yo soy T-Bone. And Chick Brew. <laughs> or is it E Chick Brew? E Chick Brew. E Chick Brew. Yes, I see you're taking this time to perfect your Spanish. Good nope. job. <laughs> I, I'm not even going to name the website. There's a website out there that's like a game, and you could play it, and it helps you learn Spanish. I need that in my life. Yes. At 20, they, they guarantee you 20 minutes a day, and you'll be fluent in 30 years. <laughs> it's, a, it's mathematically possible. It is, of course. They say uh, living in a country uh, only takes six months before you, before you become uh, functionally literate. I've been here and seven And they years. say after a year of living in a foreign country, you should be fluent. After five years, you should be fluent with no accent. That's what they, using air quotes, say. I've lived here seven years. Uh, yeah, so I have also no lived here. no excuse for my situation. In <laughs> excess of five years. The problem with American communities stationed overseas is the comfort of other Americans and the uh, non necessito <laughs> <laughs> of having to actually uh, learn the language. And that's a detriment to all of us. If you are trapped inside uh, during this wondrous uh, time that we are experiencing, why don't you do that? Why don't you work on your habla espanol just a little bit? Or for our listeners in Italy and Japan, you know, insert proper uh, speak language, uh, local language <laughs> whatever there. Whatever your ablos are where you live. Yes, whatever your ablas, ablays, or konichiwas are, uh, go ahead and... <laughs> One of my daughters speaks Japanese, which is strange uh, because my other daughter s spoke Italian. You know why? Full integration. When she was a child, we put her in an Italian school and said, figure it out, kid. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> it was great because she was, a, you know, she was just a young one and she would do my translations for me. It was fun. I really enjoyed having a, a, a dual lingo. Ha, huh, I just mentioned it. Dual lingo child. <laughs> <laughs> so we're curious. Uh, here's the deal. There are a million places you can go to find out serious news. We are not one of them. We're letting you know right now, we're looking for the lighter side of life. We're looking for when we ask for your quarantine hacks, we're not looking for real quarantine hacks, or maybe we are, but you better be able to present it in a funny way. We are looking at strange news. We're looking for your musical suggestions. It's T-Bone and Chick Brew in the morning, quarantine edition. We realize this broadcast is mostly for our uh, listeners from another time. So our podcasts are doing great. What we do the is The Cavalcade we is doing wonderful. <laughs> You're welcome. What we do is we do this show live every Friday morning for what we consider to be our live audience. We tape the show and then later release it in podcast format so you can listen to it at your pleasure. If you don't know the details of that, well, stay tuned or hit us up on the AFN Facebook page. Ah, no. Hit us up on the T-Bone and Chick Brew fan page. We have found that to be a, a much easier and concentrated area for the people who are willing to listen to us. You can find that by searching the hashtag L-U-N-S-B. Love you. N-S-B. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so look us up on there. If you want to give us a call in the studio, it's 727-1025 or 956-821025. In case you didn't know, it's T-Bone and Chick Brew in the morning. <laughs> Hey, ladies, that's a great song that you've written there. That song by Jade. Uh, what's it called? Walk Away Boy? Don't Walk Away. Don't Walk Away Boy. That's a great song you've written there, ladies. Uh, the problem is it's only 30 seconds long. Can you make it last four minutes? Yeah, can we just repeat the and chorus? And 11 seconds. <laughs> can we just repeat it. the chorus over and over? That is a song over? of my youth. <laughs> That is a song. Oh, that. Which is really kind of what 
Yes. You guys are at the mercy of my my wandering eye. Not only in inventory. Uh, so there's this thing called the schedule, which is what big corporate AFN in the sky says. You will play these songs, whether you like it or not, whether your audience likes it or not. You will play these songs. Do it. Do it now. When it is broken, we are allowed to do this thing called playing music that's off schedule. It's kind of like detailing off jazz back in the days. <laughs> well, I'm old. So uh, the. And we're not allowed to take requests, but we are allowed to take suggestions. And and times like this, in critical times like this, when the scheduler is down, we could really use your help and suggestions. What music do you want to hear? No one else has gone to work. Yeah, with we've us. got it from. Uh, yeah, in case you haven't heard, from the '80s, '90s, and today. So we've got a catalog of 50 years worth of music we're willing to play. Uh, you Three just... songs from. <laughs> yes, and the probability of us having the music that you want to hear is nil. Also not not high. Yes, but we'll get close. It's like a, it's like playing musical hand grenades. You don't have to hit the target. You just got to get close to the target. I'm going to play a song for an old friend that used to be here in a little bit. Oh. She's been listening to the podcast. So really? Like, yeah. Did you see how I predicted that the uh, episode where I, spe- I smash everybody at the hospital would be our highest ranked episode? turns out to be true because it only <laughs> took one person at the hospital to hear what I had said about the hospital for it to spread like well <laughs> you know <laughs> like unwashed hands at well, the gym <laughs> uh, again the disclaimer that we're going to continue to give you you can get your real coronavirus news anywhere you want there are millions of sources out there to get that we are here to give you the lighter side of life we're, we are making up stuff as we go. Not to make light of the situation. It's a serious situation, but you can't be serious 100% of the time. Even it the ang- to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Even the angriest person in the world occasionally smiles. So remember. Mr. Burns. <laughs> Mr. Burns. That Br- Mr. Burns? Yeah. Montgomery Burns? Yep. Yes, he laughs occasionally. <laughs> so uh, what we're looking for, we got, uh, surprisingly, we have some listeners this morning, our usual fans, the people we love the love most. Them. Yes. Uh, so not only are we are looking, basically, this is a show that you make happen. Not only are we looking for your suggestions, we're also looking for your uh, fake corona hacks, coronavirus hacks. I think, I think there's some fun to be mined there. I'm about to destroy my whole head of hair. Out of uh, sheer boredom today. But not fake. You're actually doing it. I'm going to do it in real life. I'm making a video. You're videoing it. I'll load it up to the thingy. Oh, you. And we'll do side by side, like whose head shaving was the best? <laughs> <laughs> Who wore it better? <laughs> Who wore it better? That's great. A- and let's have some fun with making up headlines. I, I, yeah. And, and they're going to be coronavirus specific, but they're going to be made up, completely made up, completely fabricated headlines of, of, of a hilarious nature. Or, you know, we're going to try. I don't know. I don't even have an example to give you yet. But we're going to have fun because you can't be serious all the time. And there's a lot of people who need some fun in their lives. In case you didn't know. It's T-Bone. And Chick Boo. In the morning. Boom, ba da boom. Bum, ba bum, bum. I nailed that. And we're back. Again, we got to... Th- it's like a very long, a very just, long, like uh, just holding on to it, like they try to hold on to their careers <laughs> or their <laughs> hatred for one another. It's just, just what they do. Oh, we have zero participation today. We're going to blame it on the virus. You know, we've been doing the late night show every weeknight between uh, uh, every weeknight, which is between Monday and Friday uh, from the office of redundancy office uh, <laughs> every weeknight at nine o'clock, every weekend night, uh, every weekend night at eight o'clock Central European time. Uh, and throughout the world, we've been doing uh, the quarantine conversations podcast where we're sitting down with absolute strangers or, or uh, strangers to me, at least. And and old friends. We've had people from. Uh, Charleston and Louisiana and Kansas. A lot of weird people in Kansas. Lovable, weird people in Kansas. Where else has we come from? Oh, Maryland and Washington, D.C., Millington, Tennessee. Uh, We have people from all over the world logging into this uh, late night podcast that we've been doing called Quarantine Conversations. And it's been fun, but you're hearing interesting things out there that we don't know outside of our purview. A uh, restaurant owner in Clearwater, Kansas. I liked her. She's very nice, Brianna. Super nice. Yeah. um, Boy, she gave us a tour of the restaurant yesterday during the lunch hour. Oh, man. 
<laughs> but I'd like to eat at that restaurant. That looks like my kind of restaurant right there. It's it probably very... has amazing hamburgers. She said hamburger, and I was like, that is probably that, yes, a really good hamburger. They're only doing takeout, I guess, or they haven't even got to that stage. It's a small town, maybe thirty five hundred people, I think she said. But uh, they they haven't they're having issues. They're, yeah. having, they're having issues where they're uh, they can't get bread, they can't get eggs, they can't get potatoes. Because uh, of where they live. They live in the America's breadbasket. I don't know what you call that. They can't get this stuff. So people are, this is actually real. You know, we've been talking about the fake news. But this, uh, the people robbed the bread dude. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the bread delivery guy got robbed. Not for money, for but bread. for his bread. And and we've been. This isn't like some weird like Austin Powers. Give me all your bread, man. Thinking that it's money. Like no, people were just straight up stealing, <laughs> stealing his merchandise. Yeah, a guy robbing him. You've been using '70s slang. He wanted his wallet. Instead, he got two loaves. <laughs> Uh, it's strange out there. If you ever want to join us on that, well, you know, you could be part, become part of the fan page. You could find the fan page by cir- searching the hashtag on Facebook, L-U-N-S-B. And if that's too difficult, you could, of course, type in the T-Bone and Chick Brew Cavalcade. Um, no help on the spelling of Cavalcade. Cavalcade being short for, or the fancy word for fan club, fan page. That's what that is. Yeah, it's, uh, and we got a tour of a school yesterday. Uh, one of the teachers in Kansas, different city in Kansas. I think she was the one in Emporia. She she walked us through the empty school oh, where wow. the teachers had to come up and like pick up some source material and take it back to them. By the way, um, I forgot the teacher who helped us out, who gave us a real good laugh with the uh, Good Meat uh, website. Uh, <laughs> that turned out to be Google Meet. Google Meet. Yes, big difference in the two. But uh, two it also websites. turned us on to Zoom, and Zoom has been the platform that we've been have started using. Started with Go Meeting, and um, it doesn't give the moderator control of the panel. So uh, if somebody's being weird or noisy or something like that, I can't shut them down. Zoom Zoom gives you that access uh, to be a moderator, and it allows the other people to politely raise their hand. Not on <laughs> camera. They can push a button and raise their hand. And I, I see why the school teachers like Zoom, because it gives them control yeah. of the classroom. Probably more control than they've ever had. So I got you. <laughs> I, uh, so we're looking for your uh, made-up headlines, coronavirus-specific. To give you an idea of what we're looking for, feel free to share. I'm going to go with uh, this one, and then I'm going to give you an example. From the Chicago Post, toilet paper proves toxic from overuse. Huh? (laughs) If you don't know what I'm saying, here you go. Fill in this blank. The CDC reports, staying at home, blank. Yeah. We got a hard three this morning. We got a hard three listeners. We got Tegan, we got Barbie, we got Lee. That's who we know we got participating in this virtual thing. I don't know. You even... cannot use vodka to make hand sanitizer. Says who? Fake news. <laughs> NBC says. You can't use vodka to make hand sanitizer. Yes, that is a th- what you look, you didn't say I you said find me another. <laughs> uh, I did my best. Y- I did my best. Yes, you can use vodka to make hand sanitizer. But what they need is a quantifier on there. You can't use vodka to make tasty sanitizer. Mm. <laughs> Wait, even then I think you could. Get, uh, the, who's the the woman that used to be on Cheers that everybody adored? The boss, the angry boss lady. Christy something, nothing. Your attention, please. I'm talking oh, to you. sorry, sorry. Forget it. Why do I even per try? the CDC, hand sanitizer needs to contain at least 60% alcohol. Tito's only, Tito's only contains 40. 40, yeah. So, that was, so that's that's the quantifier. Oh, okay. So Everclear yes. makes sanitizer. You can make yes. sanitizer with Everclear. Or Fino. No longer is it just good for limoncello. Yes. <laughs> so that's... So you didn't like my toilet paper proves toxic for from overuse headline? I thought that was cute. I, I'm trying to you know make a headline that makes sense that people want to play along with. Like uh, the Birmingham Gazette reports, stores report a run on sponges. I always thought it was fun. I thought it was funny when I was watching everybody panic buy and lose their minds. Yep. And they're buying a bill. You know, their life savings has now been invested in toilet paper. And I really love the fact that the stores are not giving refunds on toilet paper. Uh, you, I, I don't want to buy that. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it's still wrapped, but they're not ta- they're not re- exchanging. They will not. Yeah, but toilet paper is not the best wrapped 
product considering where you're going to use it. I think you it. know the difference between used and unused toilet paper. I don't care. People's germy, germy <laughs> hands because so, they bought toilet paper and not soap. Now they bought the soap out too, but they're not taking soap, not Lysol, here. baby wipes. <laughs> <laughs> so the the stores have said, don't bring us back your toilet paper. We're not giving you your money back. You bought it. It's yours. So people now have a lifetime supply of toilet paper. Um which I'm not like, here's the thing. Every time I go to the commissary to buy toilet paper, before all this started, I'm always like, man, should I just buy two? Because then that means I have twice as long until I have to come back. Because they're awkward to carry. I don't like messing oh, with yeah, them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I so, can see that. To me, it's like one of those things. I'm going to need this anyways. Why? I mean, I'm not buying a lot today. Maybe I should just go ahead and buy two. But I feel like these people, maybe they won. Because now they never have to... They don't have to go through that again. When people were panic buying, I it thought, was funny. For I, me. <laughs> I thought it would be a good idea to panic buy something completely ridiculous, like uh, sponges. Just just do a run on sponges. Just have an entire shopping cart filled with sponges. And the moment you know somebody's panicking to begin with, the moment they see you with a shopping cart full of sponges, it's going to trigger something in their brain. Holy bejesus! I need sponges too. Oh, no, P, they're kind of like my dog. What is? What are you having that I'm not having? And then they take a picture and it goes viral. And the next thing you know, all the sponges are gone. This guy bought all the sponges. And <laughs> what does he know? Is sponges the is cure? He gonna, is he going to clean? <laughs> if you had a choice of anything in the store that you could buy that would just be awkward and weird and confusing. Cake. <laughs> cake? I bought cake. You can't do a run on cake. You could do a Bet. run on cake a mix. That's what I bought. Yeah, yeah, that's what I bought. <laughs> that was my that was my panic buy. <laughs> you bought a whole case. I bought I bought enough. I bought enough. You didn't buy enough because there's no cake here. I already ate it. It's T-Bone and Chick Brew in the morning. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> An appropriately length song. Yes. That, uh, Thank you, Blink-182. Uh, uh, yes, Blink-182. Good jam. Good jam. I actually have a collection of appropriately length songs coming up. So, and remember, because we are off schedule, winky winky, insider terminology, um, because we are off schedule, you can help suggest the music that may pop up on the screen. If there's anything you want to hear, there's no better time than now. To send us a message and let us know what you want to hear. Um, doop 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 boo What did we talk about? So I got two fake headlines that I'm trying to finish here, but I'm only going to finish them with your support. The lead-ins are, the CDC says, staying at home, blank. Now, remember, this is fake news, and we're telling you it's fake news, and this headline that we're trying to create, we don't want to be negative. Um, apparently, there is some, one of our listeners is like live casting the show to all of her friends and her friends are coming up with some sick and uh, twisted ideas of what fake headlines could be. Those will be great for the late night coronavirus <laughs> conversation shows or quarantine conversation shows. They're probably not appropriate for this platform. Still enjoy reading them. Don't get me wrong and keep going. You're doing great work, but can you try to get me something here? Something of the positive nature. What does the CDC say that staying at home can do for you. There's a whole realm of possibilities. And if that one doesn't work for you, uh, the Birmingham Gazette story. Uh, stores report a run on blank. I forgot to talk about Dance Monkey. Oh, so yeah. A dance, dance Monkey. Tell dance Monkey more. was a suggestion. And I got really upset because I actually know this song. And I didn't know I knew this song. Lies. Um, the producer, manager... Producer. No, you're a producer. I have producer. I have a manager. Uh, the producer, she um, sings constantly around the house. She just, she's always, it's like the sound of freaking music in the house. She's always singing. The hills <laughs> and sometimes I have no idea what the song is, but she plants that or earworm and it stays with me. So I'm playing my Call of Duty because I'm a 50 year old man and that's what I do. I'm playing Call of Duty and at the very beginning, especially when you've got your friends in there, all of the people that are getting ready to play the mission are all standing around. And if you hit certain buttons, you can dance, right? So not only do I dance, I start singing this song that had been, been planted in 
my ear that I didn't know what it was. Dance with me, dance with me, dance with me, hey, hey, hey. And the, the, it's, a, it's a really good dance, and it's got different moves. It's very fun to do, because the other people will follow along with me, and we're all bouncing around. It's a good time. It's a good virtual time with lots of social distancing. And it wasn't until recently I found out the name of the song is Dance Monkey, because, yeah. So now I feel bad that I know stuff. It's okay. I woke up this morning. And, <laughs> period. <laughs> and uh, you know what? I woke up with the weirdest song in my head. Oh, no. You're not going to do this to me, are you? No. Oh. I'm not, I'm not going to sing it or anything. Oh. Do you remember Tickle Me Elmo, that stupid Elmo song? I do not. Yeah, well, you're lucky because that was it. I, and I was like, what kind of nightmares <laughs> was I having right before I, I woke up? I just heard Baby Shark, like the original edition mm. for the first time. Mm. Because the cops were playing it on the streets of like Sevilla or Barcelona, mm. like everybody's inside their house. So the new it's thing in Spain torture. is no, it's a balcony entertainment. Right, but if you play Baby Shark, I'm assuming that I've done something wrong, and this is some form of punishment. Well, they were in the streets and they were acting it out. Yes. Well, what would you prefer? Something from Cats? I mean, they were they were trying Memories. to enter. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 I would. I would. You're not wrong. <laughs> Mental note to our friends in the Spanish police. Please bring your live performance of Cats to the Balcony Wars. No sharing anything. <laughs> Don't push buttons without warning. Uh, the uh, She's got a weird group of friends, so it's very funny how <laughs> we have an audience that is much larger than we thought it was simply because somehow Tegan is pushing our show out to her group of friends that are all uh, late night people uh, there. And Good of her, her friends, I've met Tim and I met uh, Brianna and I met Denisha. I believe it was Denisha. I think it's Denisha. And, I mean, they're, they're really nice people. I like them. People I never met before, and I met them during the quarantine using an app that allows people from far. And my friend Ricky, who I haven't seen in years. My friend Jose, who I haven't seen in years. They came through. They came through. Um, uh, you know, me and uh, Big Baby, we're communicating again, which is really nice. Now, nah, he's a fan of the podcast. Haven't got him to dial in yet, but, I mean, it took me a week to get you to dial in, so... Well. You know, I don't hold that against him. Um, we all know that I'm the most flexible person you've ever <laughs> Flexible, yeah. No, Emily <laughs> is the most flexible person I know. Uh, do you know there are people that we know that are now doing, like, yoga YouTubes? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. That, I, it's intimidating to me. No, so <laughs> we're looking at it from different angles, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I do not find it intimidating at all. I find it very calming. It gives me anxiety. Very centering. I like watching people do yoga. No, I like certain watching certain. Could you imagine me doing a YouTube of me doing yoga? I would pay money for yeah, that. Yeah, people would pay money for that. <laughs> people Look would pay money. Go. People Look would go. pay money just to see me in yoga pants. My friend what? Melanie, she did a TikTok with her a yoga ball and a Pilates mat. It hyperlapsed her workout into oh. like a 10 seconds of just like... It was uh, really fun to watch. She's fun with the videos. The, uh, like the one stand-up comedian that I follow, and now I can't remember his name, but he did a... A like 250 burpee challenge, uh -huh. and he time lapsed it so it was compressed. So all you see is, and then you see him like change the song. Yeah, that's too many burpees. Well, I could do the same thing. I could do one burpee and then put it on repeat and then speed it up. No one would ever know. Oh, oh yes, I would look would. fantastic. <laughs> Like, look at this fat guy go. There's a burpee. Ah, <laughs> uh, 250 more burpees. That should be our next thing. Fatletics. <laughs> Fatletics. We are here how for to, you. <laughs> how to make the strangers that you're living with these days, <laughs> this, that we're virtually living with, think you're something you're not. Here we go. Here's the latest to our headline edition. Remember, of course, that you can find your real coronavirus news or COVID-19 news anywhere This else is a joke. Other this than here. This is only a joke. <laughs> Do not take these sentiments seriously. <laughs> This is only a joke. It took, me, <laughs> it took me a minute to come up with a source for this one. Uh, I didn't know who to pick on, but I figure the Canadians are always a fun target. So the, uh, the CDCD, otherwise known as the Canadian CDC director, has announced that pineapple pizza cures COVID-19. I'm set. There you go. Uh, you've been you've been uh, yelling at people for years for putting fruit on a pizza, even though technically tomato, tomato is a fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's already a salad. 
on a breadstick. Okay, I, I'm not allowed to eat pizza anymore. You know, the what? wife, she's in control of my diet. So what I do is occasionally I sneak off and I get some uh, uh, cheese and meat assortments with a, a nice tomato paste and, and some bread. It's a salad <laughs> on a breadstick. I don't know. Salad on a breadstick. It's a salad on a breadstick. It's pizza salad. <laughs> a pizza salad. Right? Would, it's no. Really, yeah, no, it's, oh, it's what that's, it is. It's fails. a fruit salad. It's a salad on a breadstick. That fails on so many levels. Hey, we I am still allowed to eat pizza. I am, <laughs> <laughs> you grown man. <laughs> we we have a we have a musical suggestion that just came to mind. So now we're gonna play it. It's T Bone and Chick Brew. In the morning. In the morning. That was a a real brightening. Okay. Song, hey, look, we're here for you. Okay, and if Are that's we? a song, that's a song you wanted to hear, and you're one of the three people listening okay. right now. Okay. We're gonna play it. So oh, yeah, right. I didn't like it, and you didn't it like it. It wasn't that I didn't, but it like wasn't it. for us. It was just. It was for slow. him. Who was that for? That was for our, uh, one of our friends. I'm not gonna put him on spot after you just. Uh, well, then maybe I'll change my. Opinion. Crush the band's music, but I, I am, didn't say that it was bad. There's only three people listening. It's Tegan, Barbie, and Lee. I don't know who it could have been. Oh, jeez. It's Whatever. Okay. Staying at home. The CDC says. Do it. Staying do at it. home does something. What does staying at home do? This is one of our fake line headline collections uh, for the day. This is not real. This is not real. It is a, a fake headline that we're trying to create with your assistance. The CDC says staying at home makes blank. You skinny. Makes you skinny. Makes you more uh, virile. <laughs> um, makes you smarter. I mean, there's that's not true. I it's <laughs> I, no kidding. That's that is the a whole... really good fake one headline. <laughs> Uh, uh, other fake headlines, in case you missed it, uh, the Chicago Post reports toilet paper proves toxic from overuse. Birmingham Gazette stores report a run on. We never finished that one up either. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, that was one I a gave run you. run on sentence. <laughs> I recommend, I, well, mine would have been sponges or mop handles. Just Could the you handle. Ima- just the handle. Just, again, this is the scenario. During panic buying, you go in, you buy something completely ridiculous, which, you know, the panic buyers are confused by, realize that they need. Someone takes a picture. The next thing you know, nowhere can you find mop handles. It's true. Or mop what heads. What do you do with all of that? Uh, kindling? Kind- Kimbo tournaments? Uh, oh, yeah. I, yeah um, and now we're shuffleboard. all making lightsabers in the backyard. <laughs> it's for arts and crafts. <laughs> <laughs> Life-size Lincoln logs? I don't oh, know. I loved Lincoln logs. Do you? I did. You really seem like a Lego person oh, to I me. I love Legos. I was an integrated builder. I used all my sources. <laughs> you integrated Lincoln logs and Legos? Yes. Y- you should probably be in prison. There's something psychotic about a person who mixes those two things. They do not go together. And Tinker Toys. Tinker Toys? Yeah. Did you ever play with a barrel of monkeys? I, no, I didn't like that game. I loved Barrel of Monkeys. And who's I, psychotic only, now? Only because of the name. Uh, they would say in the 70s, oh, that's more fun than a barrel of monkeys. I have to assume if you put a bunch of monkeys in a barrel, they're not having a good it's, time. No, there's no, no, no. I worked, even when I worked at KB Toys. KB and Toys. And Toys R Us and all that. Toys R Us. They, they still sell it and, I, and no one buys it. I buy it trash. because it's a little barrel that says on it, barrel of monkeys. It's I buy stuff, okay? I've got you a little do. red you button. Do. <laughs> so do you. You're just as guilty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is things that I'm now trying. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got a new fake headline coming up for you right after this. Kenny Rogers, 1970. Wait, wait, let's get back to this. How am I wrong? I said mushroom tea. And then you corrected me and said mushroom coffee. It's not tea or coffee. It's mushroom flavored water. It's it's not. It's weird. (laughs) <laughs> mushroom drink <laughs> look man yeah. I'm telling you this quarantine has done some crazy things to my life it's now crazy. every time <laughs> every time Facebook is like hey you should try this Lego waffle maker I'm- dude was that not insane <laughs> alright so here, now you have to buy it here's the deal I was just calling Chick Brew a psychopath because at some point in her life maybe yesterday nobody knows 
she's mixing Legos and Lincoln Logs together in a, in the same build, which is that no one is supposed to do that. A- and she mentioned Tiddlywinks, which I always like. Tiddlywinks. Tiddlywinks. They're not Tiddlywinks. No, well, Tinker Toys. Tinker Toys. Those I, were the best too. Oh, then all of the things I said about Tiddlywinks were wrong because I was thinking Tiddlywinks. Those How are, I even those know? Little, like boots, boots game. <laughs> the early so you pogs. Don't, you don't mix your Lincoln Logs and your Legos. You, you don't, don't tell me how to live it. my life. I do what I want. That, Go was, that was the discussion we had. And then we play some music. Uh, 1978, Kenny Rogers, The Gambler. And then I look down at my phone, and I have an ad for a Lego waffle maker. Uh, the Legos look like Lincoln Logs, but they're Lego shaped. And uh, you can make waffles out of them, and you can stack the waffles anywhere you want. Don't tell me I'm gonna that, buy one of those. that phone isn't listening <laughs> to everything we say. Oh, I need man. to get permission from the manager you before wanna, I buy anything <laughs> else off the internet. <laughs> you want to have technology drive somebody crazy? Um, the producer refused Uh-oh. a smartphone. I offered to buy her a smartphone for years and years and years. She refused. Finally broke down. Last Christmas, I got her a beautiful smartphone. Unfortunately, she clicked somewhere she shouldn't have clicked. And now Bixby, uh, Samsung's version of Siri, is on all the time. And uh, and it is driving someone we know nutso. Uh, more nutso than normal nutso. Like completely nutso. Because it doesn't matter what you say. There's a voice somewhere in the room that has so <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't understand what you said. The other day I said something. Like, no, I don't want to something. And then Siri was like, I don't understand. I prefer uh, answer, finding answers to questions and having meaningful conversation. Okay, somebody needs to dial back on Siri a little bit. <laughs> that's too. That's too much. Siri was like, "There's in a it whole. To win it. There's a whole bunch of things I want for my future AI robots, and a, a delightful conversation is not one of them." Yeah, I was like, "Who is Siri talking to? I want to sit in silence and cross stitch like I'm 80." <laughs> Here's what we know: you can generate uh, computer intelligence or uh, artificial intelligence by saying uh, "Hello Siri" or "Hi Siri." Uh, I could do it over here with the Bixby. "Hello Bixby" or "Hi Bixby." We could both do it with "Hey." Google, but I have no idea what triggers my watch. <laughs> I have no idea. It's the most random, most inappropriate times. Like, here's here's something for you. I am a polite bathroom, a public bathroom person. If I have to use a public bathroom, and 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 I, I'm I'm in there for a few minutes, meaning I'm going to be there for a few minutes, and someone comes in, I hold everything, just to be Gosh. polite. Yeah, I'm very polite. I'm going to hold that in. And the watch will come out like I'm hiding in the stall waiting for the person to leave. And the watch will come out with something wildly inappropriate. He's pooping. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, we have a, we out. have another headline coming to you from The Wall Street Journal. Keep listening and we'll share more fake coronavirus headlines with you in a moment. I, without the assistance of our listeners, I have come to uh, a. Uh, <laughs> I have finished the headline without any assistance, and it's going to be how we finish the show. So I'm keeping that CDC headline, that fake CDC headline, and when I give it, when I give it out, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna not going to tell people it's fake. At the end of the show, I'm going to give you one final headline from the CDC, no disclaimer, straight fake headline, and you're going to like it. Uh oh. Yeah. Speaking of fake headlines, oh, Dolly Parton, 1980. So Kenny Rogers, 1978 with the Gambler. Uh, two years later, at the very end of uh, 1980, Dolly Parton comes out with Nine to Five, and that is one of my favorite movies. I feel like it's underrated. I feel like not enough people today are embracing. Right, but it, this how was the beginning movie of movies having popular songs that went along with them uh, that had not been done before. Prove me wrong. I won't because I love that movie so much. The whole scene with Lily Tomlin is Snow White. It's a great movie. I should probably watch it. Anyway, oh here gosh, we go. So I've good. never seen it. Are you serious? I've seen clips. I know who's uh, in it. I've never watched today it. Today you have homework. <laughs> uh, here we go with our next fake headline. The Wall Street Journal reports quarantine cases. Oh, I didn't take enough notes. Oh, what was that one? Shoot. Oh, quarantine reduces memory and <laughs> joke writing abilities. 
Oh, you can't. You're struggling you can't so use, deep right now. You can't use the truth in a fake headline. That was great. Funny. Hilarious. Hey, guess what I'm doing tomorrow? Watching 9 to 5. I no, I'm, I'm going you. on a hash run. <laughs> Virtually? On your treadmill? No kidding. Uh, the Bella Napoli group. Uh, the, the 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 group in Naples uh-huh. is doing a hash run uh, this weekend. <laughs> it is a virtual hash run. We're all doing it using that same program. We're do, using Zoom. I have no idea what a, a, a mess this could be, but I'm looking forward to Bella it. Bella Napoli? Yes. Uh, you know, each individual group of runners has a name. Right. And they named theirs after the food court in Naples? Uh, no, it's uh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> That's what the food court in Naples is called. So yes. It's and funny. what is it mean in Italian? I don't know. Beautiful Naples. Naples. Beautiful Naples. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Jesus, Louise. Um, uh, they're doing a. Are vir- you flustered now? They're doing a. Yeah, I know. I, Archie Bunker keeps ringing in my head lately, and uh, those are just some phrases that he would use. I love that they remake all the stupid stuff these days, but they've never tried to remake that show. They couldn't. They could yeah. not do it, but it would be so fun to watch somebody do it like uh, better. Anyway, <laughs> this virtual run is going to be taking place online. Um, I have no idea how we're going to do it. I've got a treadmill set up in case it's going to be that. It could be running in place, um, but I'm sure, pretty sure at least one part of running with this group of people is going to be consuming some uh, uh, alcohol. And, and I don't need an instructional video on how to do that. I will report back on how this virtual run went if it is a good time worth sharing since we've been extended out in our quarantine an additional two weeks. Hey, maybe somewhere else we can do a virtual run. We see all these videos of the people, the balcony people is what I call them now. Yeah. The balcony people are playing music and tambourines and exercising. I Last night I blew up, <laughs> I blew up my bull. I saw. <laughs> yeah. And, and then. You put bull in the corner. I put bull in the corner. I was going to have bull hanging out on my balcony. Uh, just to look at people, or I was going to take him up to the penthouse suite and have him overlook, maybe take some nice, you know, photos. I, I thought I've thought about using my bull in a variety of different ways, and then I think I broke it last night. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is a perfect song for that. Ninety-seven percent. Trace, really, use the space. I, I'm telling you, I need more cowbell. <laughs> I can't. That is such an iconic Saturday Night Live skit that it you is. cannot listen to that song and think about cowbell. <laughs> it's, that's what I mean. That's what it's there for. But anybody who is a fan of Stephen King remembers that that particular song um, plays a key role in The Stand. It was also in Scream. Oh, really? Yes. I don't know. I've never watched Scream. I have watched the There's fake four versions. There's of them. Yeah, I've you watched the, watch them. the funny versions, the Wayan Brothers versions of Screams. Yeah, they're also, they're all right. I like those. Those were fun. I love Nev Campbell and her oh, blue, big, beautiful teeth, man. Blue Oyster Cult there. That's a, yeah, that's an old Police Academy reference to the Blue Oyster Club. <laughs> police Academy. Yes. Yes. So, uh, yeah, Michael Winslow, a great, great guy. Just a really great guy. Uh, He's got a wonderful background with the military. Uh, His father or grandfather was a Tuskegee Airman. And I have tried for years on during Black History Month to get Michael Winslow to do stuff, especially in Florida where, you know, he lives there. But we could never work out the timing right. But he has a wonderful wife, and uh, she's a very awesome person. And, and one of these days, we'll, we'll make that happen. Maybe maybe in Road to Spain. Who knows? So, Don't uh, get my hopes up like that. That's so, so once upon a time, I wrote a fake headline for the Wall Street Journal and completely forgot where I was going with it. We're going to try it again. But Here I we saw go. the process, folks. <laughs> it's dangerous, isn't it? <laughs> it's alarming. Dangerous. The Wall Street Journal reports... Quarantine causes a 97% reduction in drunk shopping. True story. Have you been buying anything while drunk lately on Amazon? No. I have it because you don't know if it's ever going to arrive. Yes, the mail is still running. Don't yeah, don't yeah, fret. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> it is running at a much slower pace. To put it this way, it is running at a T-bone pace. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to get there. It is running like me during the PRT. <laughs> we're going to get there. We're just going to get there when we get there. It's just not trotting along. No one's in a hurry. 
I once got passed in a in a um, half marathon by a woman in a wheelchair. Um, she was very athletic. She had a beautiful back. She, she I mean, she, she was, was putting in the work. She was definitely putting in the work. Uh, and then we got to a bridge, and I thought to myself, "Ha ha ha! I've got you now." And it was a big bridge. She smoked you. Um, well, <laughs> turns out, going up bridges, p- wheelchair people are allowed to have an assistant. Yeah, so I passed her, and then she passed me back. I pass you, and you pass me back. I don't yeah, even know where that's coming that. from. I don't know. I don't know what that was. I also got passed by like a seven-year-old. And I only know this because the kid was wearing a shirt that says, you just got passed by a seven-year-old. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I've and never... if I could have caught that seven-year-old, I'd have smacked that kid right in the back of the head. <laughs> I've never run a half marathon because I don't hate myself. Oh, well, it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a good time. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. So I've talked about the virtuals, and I've talked about the Birmingham Gazette, Chicago Post. Did we finish that one? Stores, stores report or run on? No, we never did finish that one. You three fans that we have listing right now, you are all failures. You failed to come up with a, <laughs> you failed to assist writing a joke for the stores report or run on. Uh, Lego Lincoln Log Waffle Makers. I'm looking through the list. Uh, the C Canadian CDC director reports pineapple pizza cures COVID-19. We, uh, you know what we're going to talk about next when we come back? We are going to talk about how wonderful it's going to be to go back to work. Because most of the time, to- nope, we'll talk about it when we come back. It's T-Bone and Chick Brew in the morning. <laughs> Oh, my friend in Greece just told me that my friend that lives somewhere else in the world had a birthday. Happy birthday to Nate. I love Nate. Nate's good people. So is John, our friend in Greece. He's our listener in Greece. And he's listening because he's got nothing better to do because he's Mission Essential and he has to go to work. (laughs) The bad part about Uh, going to work right now, if you were, you know, the Mission Essential was actually deemed inappropriate a couple of years ago. Um, We're not supposed to say that anymore. There's a new term, even though it's still the thing, but you're not supposed to use that anymore. It makes people feel bad if they're not mission essential. Nope, no, it doesn't. It, no, it doesn't. No, it made it someone. Like... It made someone feel bad, and then they complained about it, and then they changed the terminology as to not be an offensive term. You just let that person go to work. Non mission essential. <laughs> oh, you're mad? Go to work then. Here's the thing about those of you who are lucky enough to be staying home, versus those of you who are lucky enough to be going to work. When this ends. You are going to be ready to go back to work. Yeah. You are going to be ready to go back to work. Because unlike a normal vacation from work, where you go out and you do things and you have such an amazing vacation that when you come back, you're exhausted and then you have to go back to work begrudgingly, this vacation is like, no, you real vacation. No. <laughs> That's not how it feels at all. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I feel like I've been I I was born for this. There are many of us. Here's the thing. Naturally, uh, 90% of my life is an introvert. I have 10% that I share with you and the rest of the world in short for short periods of time. Little and, bursts. Of yeah, excitement. and then I go back into being the little hermit that I I really am. I have a hiding cupboard <laughs> under my stairs. <laughs> I feel like we might we might know each other. She, the, the manager says that she is ready to go back to work. <laughs> yes, and I think most people are. I feel like they will be. But you're comfortable being at home. I am also comfortable being at home until you tell me you, you must you have to be there. stay <laughs> at home. And then I'm, I'm like, I don't like this at all. I, I like freedom of movement. But uh, I am on board and, and, and I am, like everybody else, making the best of the situation. If you have a sewing machine that you are preparing to go in, because everybody's cleaning out their houses. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, why not? I'm doing it. My I basement did. looks great. My studio is looking fantastic. Not only is my studio fantastic, I added a treadmill to the studio. So I I'm, saw the video. <laughs> doing it backwards. <laughs> ba- backwards was funnier, wasn't backwards it? Backwards was way funnier. Yes, backwards was funnier. But because I got called out on it, what's the matter? You couldn't figure it out? I took the extra time to show you, yeah, I can. I still think it's funnier backwards. It's funnier backwards. 
Almost everything. Like everything is better in slow motion. Everything yeah. is funnier backwards. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, I think a lot of people are going to joyfully return to work when that time comes. And those of us who have been at work, um, we sure would like you to switch have places. moved everything around the office. We would, uh, this is the best time to whack you, Shaq, everyone's desks. I don't understand whack you, Shaq. I'm whack interested you, Shaq, in you here. turn everything upside down. No, we're not doing that. Oh, yeah, it's way no, better. No. We used to do it to people's hotel rooms on tour. Uh-huh. They'd go out for the evening. Uh-huh. We would wacky shack it. Or even better is uh, going into someone's hotel room and resetting it to make it look like they don't live there. Pack all their stuff uh-huh. into closet suitcases so that they when they walk in, they're like, oh. all my stuff's gone. Housekeeping's been here. This isn't my room. What happened to the days of just taking your buddy, uh, picking up the mattress and carrying him up to the roof and then forgetting that he's up there? What happened to those days? I don't know. One time I got carried out and I put onto a floating dock and I slept in the middle of a lake. It was glorious. <laughs> so, you know, Water bed. <laughs> you know, my favorite TV show is The Grand Tour. Or, or what used to be Top Gear. Once upon a time, they took yeah. one of the three guys and they hung him out over a river in his tent. Very, very hilarious. When we come back, I'm going to tell you how teach you how to deal with the paparazzi during these trying, trying times. It's T-Bone at Chick Brew in the morning. Oh, it's like he was in a bathtub or something. He just finished. Uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> All right, I, I started that last conversation before I got distracted, as I always get distracted about it. If you got a sewing machine that you're giving away, so a lot of people are cleaning out their houses, and they're getting rid of a bunch of stuff during this time. They're using this time wisely to do things, and one of them is to just get rid of a bunch of stuff that they don't have. If you got a sewing machine that you're getting ready to get rid of because you don't need it anymore, I know someone who wants it. And if you are a member of the fan page, how about this? First dibs... <laughs> First dibs... On anything you're giving away goes to the fan page group. If you're a member of the fan page and you want to, you know, make life nice between all of us. So as an example, as an example, I will post on the fan page group one of my 60 oh, seconds. Yes. <laughs> 60 seconds I have trash not or whatever that a 60 is. second sales. I have yeah, not oh, posted yeah. those anywhere for general consumption yet. So uh, these are real things that I am getting rid of. I will post one of those videos uh, on the fan page. So if you've never seen... Now, one of T Bone's sixty second sales. I, I think none you'll, of them have. I think you'll enjoy. Some people have. They're out there, but you have mm. to find them. And I just didn't put that out. So if you got a sewing machine that you want to get rid of, one of our fans is looking for a sewing machine. Uh, put it on the fan page. Fan page gets first dibs. That's what we're going with now. And uh, if you could, if you don't know where the fan page is. You can find the pan t- uh, fan page by searching the hashtag on Facebook, <gasps> L-U-N-S-B. That's right. Hashtag L-U-N-S-B is the easiest way of finding it. You'll scroll down just a little bit. I think we're like the third because somebody's got that name now. Uh, and it's uh, it says the T-Bone and Chick Brew Cavalcade. And Cavalcade, of course, is just a fancy word for... Pretend friends. <laughs> we now have well over 100 members on the fan page. And that's mostly because of Chick Brew's doing last night i believe if tegan was able to get all of her people in her group on the fan page that we could uh, we could break 200 easily and if those friends tell two friends and they tell two friends and then they tell two friends so well the next thing you know uh it's just spreading like uh <laughs> Unwashed hands at the gym. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it from now on. <laughs> Just leave it out there. I was going to talk about the... I'm going to share this with you. I've always... for There are moments in time when I am popular. More popular than most would understand. But they're very, very brief moments. If I'm doing a live show somewhere and I'm actually there and I'm with, you know, people and it's it's like a real thing, afterwards, at the end of the show, everybody that's at the show usually wants to say hi, wants to take a picture with you, and there's a lot of me that doesn't want anything to do with that. And I've always had the solution for me, a micro-celebrity, and, and for everyone else that's like a mega-celebrity, it's never take a selfie 
right? Never take a selfie. Always have somebody with you. To take uh, the picture. To take the picture for you. Take a picture with all the people that want to take a picture with you. Smile bright. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't sniff. Things I've learned from candidates. Uh, <laughs> take the picture. Make it happy. Make it wonderful. And then put it on your Facebook, your Instagram. Number you one. Control. Yes, you control yes. it. And it drives the traffic to your page. Mm -hmm. And it saves less time. Saves more time. And you can take more pictures with more people doing it that way. Because here's what I saw the other day with Taylor Swift. She's out there and all of the little Swifties or Tayloreys or whatever they call themselves. They all want to take a, a picture with Taylor. She's a pretty woman. I'd take a picture with her. But every time she goes to take a picture, it's like, ah, is this how you, is, is this the button? Like they've never phoned before. Right. Or, or they're like me using an iPhone and I feel stupid. Uh, do, do you just tell it to take a picture? I don't know. Uh, I, to be fair, anything that's not an iPhone, I panic and go show me. Siri, take a picture. <laughs> okay, I'm taking a picture. No, I'm just yelling at the phone, just screaming. Uh, when we come back, we're going to wrap it up with your best headline ever and a warning, a reminder. We got stuff coming up. Just stay tuned. It's still... That would be like a great song for the Muppets. I bet you the Muppets did a I'm version sure of that, they right? Did. Like Animal in the Back. Doop, da doop, da doop, da doop, da doop, doop. I could see this. Gonzo up front. Take a walk. And I, I can't do a Gonzo voice. God, I really need to work on my Muppet impressions. For, well, you got time. For conversations like that. Uh, I have an entire, look at the list of stuff that we have covered. We, uh, we went, we came in early, we stayed late because we got nothing but wonderful information for you. Hey, I'm going to need <laughs> your assistance in helping me spread the fake news. Why? Uh, because it's fun. We're going to have fun. <laughs> Uh, again, we are not the source for official news. If you want your official news and information, I recommend you listen to somebody. Oh, you listen at the top of the hour when different voices come on and say, like, news in a newsy way. We are just trying to remember to uh, always look at the bright side of life. By the way, if you got that song, that should be not Thunderstruck Friday. Always look on the bright side of life should be the way to finish. Oh. I doubt you have that, but what a great well, song. I'll take a look. So I what, think was, what did you say? Always look on the bright side of life. The bright side of it. Yes. It's a whistle song. Uh, so here's the fake headline that we're going to push out. We're making go viral. We're using the C Canadian uh, Center for Disease Control Director as our source. Right? Make it look official when you make your memes. The Canadian CDC director says, pineapple pizza cures COVID-19. You got to make this look convincible, all right? We need this going around the world and then secretly somewhere in the background put the hashtag Lunsby, just so they know it came from us. <laughs> we we were the ones who came up with that fake headline for the day, even though we had some good ones. Uh, and I finally came up with the one from the Birmingham Gazette. The Birmingham Gazette reports there is a run on cornbread mix, y'all. No? I love cornbread. Uh, the Birmingham <laughs> Gazette reports I'm there is currently a run on $3.15 quarter cut chicken. I didn't know the commissary started doing quarter cut chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm used to their half-cut chicken for $4. Now they give you a quarter for $3, and they charge a 15-cent surcharge. Something wrong here. I don't know why I got Jackie Gleason Where are you going right now? What, what part of the world are you Smokey in? Smokey and the Bandit kind of? I, I was uh, actually thinking. Uh, oh, that you bandit? That, uh, I'm going to barbecue you. That movie, Double Jeopardy, and she goes down to New Orleans. An old dude has a terrible, terrible, terrible voice. Yeah, uh, you know what I'm talking about. 10 Cloverfield Lane. You ever seen that one? No. You should check it out. All right, you watch 9 to 5. I'll watch 10 Cloverfield, Cloverfield Lane. Lane. Yes. Uh, yes. Good times. Good times. <laughs> so um, what's the best thing you can do? See, on a serious note, mm. what's the best thing you can do to avoid being contaminated or contaminating, contaminating others? other people. Stay home. Wow. Yeah, that's right. Uh, increase your social distancing to a minimum of six feet. Two meters, for those of you uh, compatible with the metric system. In other words, <laughs> a double arms interval away, right? We're, we're succeeding <laughs> and, and we overachieving. <laughs> As we always do. That's right. Yes. Um, what a great time to be a germaphobe. A except for those people who don't understand and, don't. or don't get it. So um, you are not supposed to use violence to protect your bubble. 
Uh, yes. Uh, so early on, I'm already at a stage nine. I think we're <laughs> stage three. I'm stage nine. <laughs> Stay away from me. And I find a woman who's lost. I'm going to render some assistance and give her direction. But she's Spanish and she's all the way inside my bubble. And I just want to push her outside of my bubble. <laughs> Maintain your distance. Two meters. No. Yeah. Two meters two is meters. even better. Six feet, two meters, or double arms interval plus. That's the number one way you can avoid contagion others. When we come back, we'll come back for our final break. It is official. The fan page has grown by one more. Hey. Brianna, the woman who spells uh, Brianna with a whole bunch of extra letters in it. I like Actually, it. Actually, she didn't do that. It's her parents' fault. i just making fun. She's a lovely woman, but there are a whole lot of letters in her version of Brianna. Uh, <laughs> it, maybe that's the Nordic spelling. I don't know exactly uh, like what it. that is. Let's see. Uh, we've done a bunch of fake headlines today. Remember the fake headline that we need you to share with everybody is that the Canadian CDC director reports pineapple pizza cures COVID-19. Um, no disclaimers necessary. We told you many, many times throughout the show, this is not your place for serious news. At the top of the hour, there'll be newsworthy people coming on here. I'm going to give you going to give you this final headline uh, for all of you to share. The CDC says staying at home proves you care. Now, with that being said, wash your hands, stay away from people, clean up after yourselves, clean up all your stuff, uh, uh, wipe things down. Thing I, I now do courtesy wipes. I have my Clorox wipes, and I use them in my area, but now, like before I leave the building, I take one with me, and I just go and I hit like an area that's not been hit, like the banister, the handrails, the elevator, just as, as my part, I'm just taking a Clorox wipe and just wiping down communal surfaces um, as just a little extra, and you can do that too, so wash your hands. What are you doing with all the buttons? What are, what are you Is doing? that fast? No, keep going, man. Wash your hands. Wash down your things. Keep away from one another. That's the serious news you need to worry about. And remember, uh, don't panic. Uh, the best lines that you ever need to know for me. Always have a towel and don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> With that being said, uh, I remind you, as I always remind you, remember to be the best person that you can be. And if you were a great person yesterday, be an even better person tomorrow. And don't forget that you are loved.